Here's problem 29.6. What's the magnitude of the magnetic force on a charged particle, Q equal to 5 microcoulombs, moving with a speed of 80 kilometers per second in the positive x direction at a point where Bx equals 5 tesla, By equals minus 4 tesla, and Bz equals 3 tesla. We're not given the angle here, so we're going to have to go with the vector expression. So we'll have force is equal to QV cross B. And uh, so what we have is our Q is 5 microcoulombs, 5 times 10 to the minus 6. Our velocity is 80 kilometers, so it's 80 times 10 to the 3 meters per second in the positive x direction, so that's I, crossed with our magnetic field, which is 5I minus 4J plus 3K Tesla. All right. To do this cross product, I didn't mention this before, but I'll mention it here. Uh, if you have a IJK, IJK, IJK. Here's a little memory device. If you're going, uh, say, I cross J in this direction, you end up with the next letter positive K. If you're going, say, K cross J, you end up with the next letter negative I. So going to the right on this pneumatic uh, diagram gives you a positive of the next letter and going to the left on this diagram gives you a negative of the next letter. Alright, so let's try that out. So we have 5 times 80 10 to the minus 6 times 10 to the 3 and we're left with I crossed with 5I minus 4J plus 3K. Alright, so this is going to be 5 times A is 400 times 10 to the minus 3, so that will be uh, 0 0.4 is left from all that. And then uh, I cross I will give me 0 and I cross with J is going to the right on our diagram that will give me a K so I'll end up with a negative 4K from that and I cross K that's going to the left on our diagram I'll be doing this right here so that will give us a negative J as that result Unhand that. Alright, so we are left with a negative 4k minus 3j. So our answer is um, a negative 1.2j minus 1.6k. Newtons. So that is our force, and uh, that's the um, the vector of the force that we want to find. But we want to find the magnitude of this force. So we have to go one step further and find the magnitude of this force. The magnitude of this force will be the square of the components add together square root. So if I were square 1.2 plus 1.6 squared square root, I get 2. So the magnitude of this force is 2 newtons, and that's our answer.